to your forecast in just a moment, but we want to begin this morning with breaking news from Detroit's east side. That's where two buses have been involved in a crash on the freeway. 7 Action News reporter Allie Hoxie is live at the scene for us right now. Allie, was anybody hurt? As far as we know right now, we're not hearing of any injuries. Take a look behind me. You can see this D dot bus on the highway. At one point, this bus was completely horizontal and now at least it looks like they have straightened it out and a tow truck is coming to take care of it. But the crazy thing about this is this isn't the only D dot bus that's on the highway. About a mile west of here is another D dot bus that they're working to tow right now. Traffic is backed up quite a bit. So if you can avoid the area, we're going to shoot it over now to Anne Marie. She's going to give you a look of how you can get around this traffic mess. Yeah, as you are headed out this morning, Allie, thank you. We do want to get you around this issue involving a DDOT bus. Take a look outside now with your seven first alert traffic camera. Now you could see the mess behind Allie live on the scene. Here's another perspective. So here's that bus. She's up here right now. And again, this is the eastbound side of the highway. Here's our camera at Concord. Bring in our seven first alert traffic maps. Let's get you around this this morning. I was hoping we wouldn't need an alternate route. But that bus just isn't moving yet. I do want you to hop off at 75. This is back up quickly and that's your best bet. Take that northbound to Holbrook eastbound and then Conant southbound that will turn into Mount Elliott for you and you can safely get back onto 94 on the other side of the crash. Now believe it or not, we do have another major issue this morning as well.